Hi everyone. Hope you are doing good. Welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional. Uh, this is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all. So today's video, we are going to talk about a new feature which has been added in Microsoft Dynamics 365. And this is around the consolidation, which we have uh, as an out of the box uh, functionality in Microsoft Dynamics 365. So the feature name is the online financial consolidation template. And we are going to talk about what exactly is this template. And we are going to have a, a quick demo as well. So if I talk about what is the consolidation template is, so it helps users to define a predefined template for consolidation. And if you have done the year end, uh, if you have performed the year end process, you would realize that there also we define a template where we select the list of legal entities for which we want to do the year end uh, closer. We also select some sort of a main account where we want to put the balances. So similarly, in the consolidation process, when we run the consolidation process, we need to select the list of legal entities, what percentage, what financial dimensions, what currency exchange rate, if there are multiple currencies we are consolidating, from which main account to which main account we are doing the consolidations. Now, just imagine a scenario where uh, what happens is uh, you run the consolidation on a regular basis. You have multiple legal entities or you might have uh, your organization structure in such a way that you have the multiple consolidation legal entities. And why you would have that? Because uh, imagine like you want to first consolidate your legal entities at a regional level, let's say east, west, south or north kind of a thing. And then you want to consolidate all of them together to the top group company level. Now, what happens is that this is your regular recurring process. And every time you run this process, uh, you need to select the right legal entities. You need to select all the parameters related to main account and other things. Now, this becomes a, again a, a task for anyone and they need to select the right uh, parameters and everything to make sure that the consolidation is uh, is performed properly. After that also you have also that once the consolidation is done, you also have to review the transactions and other activities that uh, whatever that has been consolidated it is right or there are some corrections required or do we need to reverse that or do we need to rerun the consolidation process. Now this consolidation templates allow you to do all these things uh, and, uh, and, and gives you the better user experience to perform these uh, activities. Now this does not change anything from the process perspective. Your process remains same. It's just a user experience. You get it better. So for that, what you need to do is that uh, first thing is you need to enable the parameter, uh, enable the feature, sorry. And the feature is available in 10.0.40. So you need to enable this feature. And once the feature is enabled, then it you can create a template. And once the template is done, you can run the consolidation process for the required legal entities based on the template which you have defined. And then you can track your uh, all the changes and the consolidation process uh, uh, at a different stages. So that's what the cons uh, online consolidation templates offer you. And uh, let's go to the demo and see what we can do and how we can define these templates and other activities. I am now uh, in my Microsoft Dynamics 365 environment uh, where I can just go and uh, go to the feature management first and you will see that there is a consolidate online uh, using template. Uh, which is available and I have enabled this particular feature and if you want to read about this particular feature you have got the uh, uh, learn portal where the Microsoft has put that what exactly this feature is what are the things you can set up what are the configurations and the options it gives you for the process now once that is done what you need to do is that you will uh, log into your any of the uh, consolidated company. So I have selected this Contoso group company here. Now, if I go to the consolidation module, 
under the setup you will find the consolidation online template setup now the first thing is you need to set up this now i have created one template now you can have a multiple templates depending on that how, what are the how many differently uh, consolidation company you are having and as i explained you can have multiple consolidation legal entities uh, in your organization hierarchies depending on the situation you are having now just taking uh, this example where we have the consolidation online template which is this and here i have defined all the parameters which i want to copy or use whenever I run this particular template for my consolidation process. So I have selected which main account to which main account. Do I want to use the consolidation account from where I want to use this? Do I want to use the uh, financial dimensions? If I want, then what are the, what is the segment order? I want to have it. Then I can select the legal entities, which uh, I want to consider for my, uh, consolidation and what percentage of the share i want to consolidate and then i have the elimination so if i want to add any elimination uh, rule here i can select any elimination rule and then define that uh, we can select all these details here and then also i can select that is it like only a proposal i want to do for the elimination or i also want to post the uh, accounting entry which is proposed uh, based on this elimination rule uh, DL posting date and all these things the region code if I want to select then I might have the consolidation for different legal entities which are using the different currencies so if I am having that I can define my currency translation that how it is going to have what is the exchange rate it should be using so all these details I can just define it here I also can enable that to uh, do I need to have the budgets included during the consolidation? So do I want to consolidate the budgets as well? So I can define all these parameters. Now imagine all these things. If you are having a monthly consolidation or a half yearly or quarterly consolidation for your legal entities, you need to set up these parameters and specify all these parameters every time. And now it is also possible the person or the user who is running this process might miss out something and which might end up having the wrong consolidation run. So this helps in saving the time, bringing more control and making the user experience better. Now we have defined the template. Now let's go and see that how you can use this template. So you again go to the consolidation module and here you have an option of uh, consolidate online. Now, once you click on this, you can click on the perform consolidation. And when you click on this perform consolidation, this is where you define the from date and end date for which period you want to run the consolidation like a usual one. And then here you select the template. If you remember without this template, you had a kind of a wizard where you need to specify all the parameters which we have specified in the parameters uh, or in the template. And then you need to run this process. So now this is there and then you can have the rebuilding of the balances during consolidation. Uh, you can have uh, the batch setup for this and you can run this process. Now, once this process is uh, uh, completed, then what you have is uh, is is that I have just for this demo purpose because the consolidation might take a lot of time. I have run one uh, process for a small uh, uh, period and then we'll see that what are the other activities it allows us to do here. So now uh, this is my uh, online consolidation progress or the progress monitoring page you can see and it gives me all the list of consolidation which I have run till now. Now, if I have a different status like not reviewed, reviewed and all, so I can just click on all and what it does that once your consolidation is run, then it gives you the option that uh, you can review the consolidation which has happened. Now, when you are reviewing, what you can do is that you can select this. So let's say this is not reviewed right now and you can go to your transactions you can look for the actual transactions which have been considered for the consolidation from this legal entity uh, you can look for the budgets it has been considered and now let's say you realize that uh, you you realize that uh, the the transactions which have been considered as not right 
there is some modification required or you want to rerun this process so you can click on this return consolidation rerun cons uh, consolidations and this rerun will rerun this uh, whole process for this particular legal entity and for this period with the same, same template and give you the results for, uh, again then you might have a uh, reverse uh, the consolidation so it will remove your all the consolidation transactions uh, and you can use this and you can also look at the uh, consolidation timeline just uh, as a progress at how it has been started and when it has been ended and you can see all the details which are available on this detail page so this runs a back job so it it is giving you the the entire detail about this whole consolidation process uh, which you have run so now here also you can uh, let's say you are reviewing this so uh, if you have uh, any comment you can uh, put a, a comment here and uh, then you can just uh, uh, i mean once you, are, you once you enter the uh, comment here uh, you can uh, let me put it some comment let me see yeah and once that is done you can mark this as a uh, reviewed and once it is reviewed it will be ticked here like this okay so now this is how you can uh, 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 you can mo uh, bring more efficiency and the control uh, over your in your the online consolidation process which you are having and it brings a better user experience for for the end users that's it for this video hope this helps you to understand this consolidation process uh, template i have not touched upon the entire consolidation uh, for that you might look go and look for the ms learn or the document or any tech talk which is available and uh, it's just an explanation about the template how you can use in this entire consolidation process that's it for this video um, see you in the next one thank you